You know there's an association between some behaviors like smoking and some outcomes like lung cancer or emphysema. But do you know how to measure that association? Or how do you know if it's big or small? Do you also know that pretty much every telephone survey ever done has a built-in bias that might make the conclusions a little problematic? Do you know what constitutes ethics in research? Can you design an ethical research study? In this course, I'm going to help you find the answer to these questions and more. The course is called Epidemiology, and I think it's going to help you prepare for your medical exams. Hi, my name is Raywat Dionandan, and I received my doctorate degree in epidemiology and biostatistics in 2001. Since then, I've been traveling the world talking about epidemiology in a variety of contexts to a variety of audiences. I'm also an author and a journalist, as well as a professor and educator. And so I think that's given me a particular skill set in communicating technical ideas to a variety of audiences. You can benefit from my particular set of skills as a teacher and communicator in this particular course. Together, we're going to dig deeper into this fascinating topic called epidemiology. So in this course, you're going to learn about the foundational ideas, the fundamentals of good epidemiology and biostatistics. We're going to start with the basics, but then we're going to focus on some of the key ideas in specific areas of epidemiology. You're going to develop critical thinking skills, and you're going to be familiar with the design of observational and experimental studies, as well as determining how to measure the relationships and associations between key variables. And that includes learning about causality. Your success will be supported by Lecturio's adaptive learning platform. You'll be provided with additional questions and material for download. Learn wherever and whenever you want with Lecturio's mobile apps. After this course, you'll have all it takes to create your own studies. You'll be familiar with how to analyze them as well. You'll know how to measure the impact of an exposure with an outcome, like smoking or lung cancer. You'll also learn about sensitivity and specificity and other ways to diagnose the qualities of a screening test. These are important concepts for preparing for your US MLE exam. So take your time in this course, and I promise you, together, we're going to explore the foundational concepts of epidemiology, and you're going to find it fascinating. So let's take this journey together, and together we're going to learn everything we can about this exciting, fascinating, groundbreaking science. Thank you.